Hi, this is Richard Price with High Tech Battery. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the G7200, uh, manufactured by the NOCO company. Uh, the NOCO Genius line is not a, a new line here for us. Uh, however, they have released their version 2.0 of their line, uh, which has a few extra bells and whistles compared to a lot of chargers on the market. Uh, all of that we'll go over here with the G7200 series today. Uh, so let's take a look at what you get in the box itself. Obviously you get the charger. Let's take a look at the accessories that come with the charger itself. Obviously you're going to have your instructions manuals. They redesigned their uh, battery clamps here a little bit more rugged and heavy duty. Uh, in terms of the, the metal you can tell it's just an overall higher quality uh, craftsmanship than found on the first series there. Uh, so all of this is quick dis disconnect. In other words, you can hook these up permanently to a battery and uh, you can plug in your charger as you will here and disconnect it uh, just as quick. Uh, so the other accessory you get here is going to be your eyelet terminals. Uh, very handy for hard to reach batteries. So motorcycle applications, uh, batteries that are under the seat in vehicles or in the trunk, this is going to come in handy for you guys. And then we get to the charger itself. It does also come with some mounting screws here for you. Okay, so the G7200 uh, is very similar to the first version in terms of its body style. It is going to be a little bit slimmer. Uh, it still has that, that rugged texture here, and the plastic itself is still the hardened plastic. Uh, these things can take a little bit of abuse. They can be dropped uh, and whatnot. They are splash proof and dust proof, but they are not uh, waterproof. So these cannot be submerged. You will ruin the charge on that. We do get a few questions like that. Uh, in terms of the charger itself, some of the capabilities that it can do. Uh, it can do a 12 volt and 24 volt mode. In the 12 volt mode, it does do a full 7.2 amp hour charge into the batteries itself. In the 24 volt mode, it does cut that in half. So you'll be looking at about a 3.6 amp charge rate if you're charging 24 volt battery packs. And uh, on here, you do have your normal and cold slash AGM mode. Uh, what that means is that normal will be for any flooded type of battery, uh, regular car battery, anything that where you can take the caps off the battery itself and add acid to it is going to be considered a normal or a flooded battery. And then the second setting on these is the cold slash AGM. So if you have a sealed maintenance free battery, uh, something that you cannot remove the caps and add acid to or something that is spill proof, uh, that's going to be considered an AGM battery. Uh, that in itself requires a different charging algorithm, so you're going to want to use that setting. And also, if this charger is going to be used for some off-season maintenance, like during the winter, for example, and it's going to be cold where the charger is and the battery, I recommend to set it to the cold slash AGM setting. This is going to up the voltage rate uh, to make up and compensate for the cold weather. Now some of the other features uh, that are relatively new for the G7200, uh, first they have a dedicated repair mode. Uh, the 12 volt 1.5 amp dedicated repair mode on the actual charger itself. Uh, what this does is it's very good at recovering deeply discharged or sulfated batteries. So if you've had a battery that's been sitting around for a period of time not being used and discharged by itself, chances are that you're going to need a smart charger such as the G7200 to bring it back to life to at least 60 to 70 percent of its capacity. Using a regular conventional style charger will not get you those results. Uh, another cool feature of these is going to be the lithium version. Uh, they've added lithium to a a wide variety of applications now. You're going to start seeing it pop up more and more. Uh, we see it right now heavy in the motorcycle industry They've cut down the battery by about a third of the size, if not more, half, and they've almost doubled the coal cranking power. Uh, so these batteries are going to continue to grow in the market. You're going to see them more and more. And they've also started putting them in certain cars. Uh, I know for a fact some of the BMWs that are coming out have lithium batteries, and that's just the beginning for the uh, consumer side of the automotive market. Uh, and two of the other features here that you can see in the charger, there's a 13.6 volt supply mode. Uh, so for a lot of do-it-yourselfers, what that is, is basically when you remove the battery from your car, you're potentially cutting off all the power that your vehicle has. So in other words, 
cars that have computer systems in them, uh, which is basically 2000s on up is the recommended range to use the supply mode. Uh, what that is, is it controls your idle, uh, it saves your radio stations, uh, it may turn on and off your radio. Some cars, if they lose power, you have to put in a code in the radio system to get it to turn back on. Uh, so this supply mode, basically, you hook the battery clamps up to the charger itself, and then you hook the clamps up to the battery cables in your car before you remove the battery and switch on the supply mode. What this does, it keeps a constant power supply for your vehicle. So it will not be able to tell when you remove the battery and you install a new one. It will have no idea that there was a loss of power, uh, which is ideal for you know mid-level mid to expensive cars that run on computer systems. And the other, the last setting here uh, is called the 12-volt AGM Plus setting. Uh, what this is, is there's a series of batteries out there which are typically pure lead batteries, high performance sealed AGM units. Uh, some of the names you might recognize are going to be Odyssey, uh, Optima, and more recent on the market is North Star. And these batteries require a slightly different charging algorithm to really maximize the battery's potential and for them to reach the fully charged mark. Uh, pure lead batteries have uh, much higher coal cranking amp and reserve capacity uh, compared to your standard uh, flooded or just standard AGM battery in general because the quality of the materials is so much more. This charger is built to be able to handle those. So the G7200 in total is a nice all-around charger. You can charge regular flooded batteries with it for everything down from your car to your motorcycle to your ATV. And then you can charge lithium batteries if you ever get into the high performance lithium market, as well as 24 volt setups. Uh, a few uh, customers we've talked to have RVs where they have two 12 volt batteries tied in series, which is very common. Uh, and it'll also do, say you have a high performance AGM series like a, like a North Star battery, it'll also do that for you. So it's a nice all around charger. Instead of having two or three chargers you know, in, in one house here, you can just have the G7200 and it can complete a lot of tasks for you. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us toll free at 1-877-775-4381 or hop on our website at www.techbatterysolutions.com. Thanks.